one when you can set up houses, which I assume that's all we've done for, is it? All the group? Or is there any other um, things that we need to know about? Do you leave that? Do you have another one as well? It's not on the agenda. Well, we're looking at any other business that have it on the agenda. No, you can't discuss any other business. Um, the thing is, when we've um, sorted out the minutes, I will give you 20 minutes, which is twice as long as we normally have, for the public to speak. Um, I believe Mr. Milligan wants everything recorded. But has anybody got any objections to that? This is voice, I see. Anybody got any objections? No, no. And then also we have got cameras. Are you objecting to that? No? No. 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 So that's fine. So now we'll start with... Um, some of you, I believe, have got agendas, so you might really have to share, because we didn't expect all these people, so we haven't got enough attention. Um, so we'll start with... Uh, apologies for absence. I would request that under the Local Government Act 1972, Schedule 12, Part 2, Section 9, Subsection 1, that the Chair call an extraordinary meeting to discuss the development with the residents in more detail before a written response is given. Should you decline this, I would request that under Schedule 12, Part 2, Section 9, Subsection 2, of the Local Government Act 1972, I call upon two members of the duly elected Parish Council to produce a requisition request in writing requiring the Chair to hold an extraordinary meeting within the next seven days. Should you refuse this Chair under Rule 6 of the Local Government Act 1972, I call for a Parish meeting to discuss this development proposal. No, it's to the 20th. Well, I, spoke to to Chris. I spoke to Chris today. It's to the 20th, and depending on this meeting, he's willing to extend it further. Well, we haven't. We weren't aware of that. There are other members who have spoken to him today. Yes, I, I spoke to Chris, and he has extended it to the 20th. I can third that. Thank you. 
was to be put an answer. Yes, but that's South Norfolk that, that needs the questions and the answers. It's not, we're not driving this. I we're objecting against it. But I thought you represented us as village of, as people of the village. Here, here. Yes. yes. Well, we do as best we can. But we're, we're, not not we're not here to criticise. We're here to put our questions and ask for help and answers and to move forward. We're not happy with what these, the consortium are proposing and we need to stand up to them. We can't do it without your backing and you can't do it without ours. Now, for, an, for one just little example, a new village hall to have just 10 car parking spaces, when this one has got 20, they must think we fell off a Christmas tree. We, we absolutely <laughs> agree with you. We, we, we need a group, a task force, to push for this. We but can't just sound, sit here saying, I'm, I'm right, we I'm agree. Writing to, I'm writing to South Norfolk about it tomorrow. It's got to be there by Wednesday. Oh, we are saying that all no. the points that were wrong, we've looked at all your letters on the website, we've listened to what you've said, especially the few that came on Friday and Saturday, which I was very disappointed about, although there seems to be a room full now, where were you on Friday and Saturday? Why did they have to be here on Friday when you came well, on the website? We came here for the information. Now we've come back here with the questions. Um, yeah. Yeah. Could I just From the information. It seems to me that there are two things here, um, and that I need it clarified, if you don't mind. First of all, you're saying that you need, you would like an extraordinary meeting, and I think that makes sense, because this is a parish uh, council meeting. <coughs> Even with your 20 minutes, I'm assuming that everybody here has got something to say, and has got a question, and would like it answered. And that can't happen in 20 minutes. All that will happen is people will get frustrated because they won't be able to hear their say and things will just go around and around in circles. So I'm assuming that the most important thing then is to get an extraordinary meeting. And at that point, you can then decide, or it can then be decided, having decided who's going to chair it, who's going to be invited to it, and what your agenda is going to be, whether or not there would be any point in, say, getting together an action group of people. This parish council, the six parish councillors who are busy, can't do this on their own and can't even probably take a lead. There must be people now, and there's hundreds of, well, not hundreds, but slight exaggeration, as I often want to do, but there are a lot of you here who actually would, could perhaps get together in an action room and push forward the things that people want. Now, if that's what you want, then I'm prepared to support that and, and, and think that's a really good thing. What we don't want is a lot of arguing and bickering and people sort of getting ex uh, frustrated and worked up about this, that and the other. Now, am I right that that's what you want? That's what the whole yes. point of tonight is. Yes. Yes. We have interested parties invited so they can be questioned because they have said things in their reports which do not reflect what was originally said when they had their little consultation period. And there are questions to be asked about the wildlife service that were done. It would be very nice to get them on board to ask them why they shoot off people who ask them questions. Yeah, I, I, I take your point. And, and that gentleman over there, do, do you want to add it? Yeah, thank you. My arm's aching. Thanks very much. Um, the gentleman in the front, he mentioned obviously about calling upon two members of the, the board. Could you say who you are? My name's Jonathan Bailey. I live in Buxton Close. I'm a resident of six years. <laughs> The gentleman in the front there, I believe his name is Peter, um, he referred to calling upon perhaps two members of today's council um, you know, to consider um, this extraordinary meeting. Um, could I perhaps ask that maybe uh, a five minute break is taken for the council to consider that suggestion? and I'm your district councillor, so that's in South Norfolk, and I'm also your county councillor. Now, at this meeting, I'm in the same position as you. At a parish council meeting, I only come to observe and listen, and I can only join in when it's open like this, just as you can. So, so I'm not part of the parish council, but I'm allowed to speak at this moment just as you are, okay? Now, so I am also somebody who represents you on South Norfolk when it comes up to planning. So I'm quite open to listening to what you have to say and what you want, and I'll go and speak on your behalf when it goes up to the family committee. 
Okay? So I just want to clarify that. That, that is the role. I also represent you as well as the parish council, as well as them representing you. Okay? So I just wanted to clarify that. And I'm quite open to having a meeting with anybody or a group of people or coming to an extra meeting or whatever so that we can list um, what the requirements are. But can I just say, because we've got to the stage of numbers and the numbers game that's been going on for about five or six years, there have been various displays here in this village hall and people have come along um, because it started off with about 1,500 houses and various sites and you con um, consulted on the sites and then it came back and the parish council agreed the South Norfolk cut down to the number of sites that, well, South Norfolk worked with the developers to cut down the sites. So once it was agreed 900 houses here, it's up to the people who own the land who they will um, sell the land to to develop it. And that's the stage that we're at now. The developers are putting in their suggestions for each block of land around the area. Okay, just to sort of clarify things. But um, I'm, I'm willing to listen and to speak on anybody behalf at that meeting. Well, I think the best thing that we, we have agreed now to do, have a meeting, we've obviously got to decide on the date, which we might have to be done later in that, or can we do it now? We've got to be in this committee, we've got to find out if it's vacant or not. Well, any, any hall will do in the local area, won't it? We haven't got choice much of any hall here, have we? Eastern College. Eastern College, well, Walbrook, Marlborough. We've still got to find out who's available. Yeah. I mean, they have things going on all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Can we set the date so it can fail with you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, also, because our Jubilee playing field have been brought in to the plans by this consortium, I believe we, as parishioners, deserve answers too. What was the legal advice given when our public money was spent getting legal advice on what could be done with the Jubilee playing field? That was, should have been passed back to us. It hasn't been. We have the right to know because you are only custodians on our behalf for that Jubilee playing field. Exactly what you get in that about the Jubilee Plan field. I mean, that's taken out of the, the scenario, it's not even in it. So they want it, it can come back in at any stage. That says on the plans at a later date. At a later date. Well, and they want that, to make the walkthrough. Until that happens, and if it happens, you can't do anything about it. We haven't agreed anything, it's what they've written on the plans. We would still, I would still like to know what the legal advice was with regard we, to the as custodians on our behalf of that land using public money, our money. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is if we haven't done anything legally, that you, you're suggesting now that we ought to do something legally. No, you did. You so put it in, you, in the minutes <coughs> that you did, that you took legal advice with regard to the Jubilee playing field. Yeah, that's yes, we know that. It wasn't 
possible to register, yeah. and now you can. And we think it would be safer if it was registered. Yeah. Safe? How do you know that? How, you know, I don't have to so Is this the legal advice that you received? We didn't no. ask for anything. No. Yes, you did. No, it was in the minutes that you were uh, under the previous chair that was asking for a legal legal where we to We went to when Steve met Yes, you did. Well, and we went to his solicitor. Mm -hmm. But I didn't. You've got a copy of the minutes. Oh, November. November. Oh, this one. So the the funny side of things, we want to slow this down at the moment for the parish. You support the idea that it shouldn't go ahead as it is. Pull back on any of these agreements with regard to the land that the parish is in control of. That's how it's reasoned. Can I just ask why individually as residents of the parish council reject what the residents are writing? I'm Veronica Green, this is Sun All Nair, we live at 25 Wheeler Crescent and we want to ask the question why only one out of six parish councillors, only one has committed themselves to put an opinion, a public comment because now, they are residents, and therefore we don't know where they stand, whether they are in agreement, supportive, or objective. Yeah. I agree with that. It's a, it's a public consultation on the South Northern website that John was going to soon ask. Yeah, it should be. And on there it welcomes public consultation and opinion from the residents. Yes, but we're doing that on behalf of the parish council. But you're also residents. Bernard was replying to the actual one that was sent to us. Only 100 letters. Only 100 people. Yeah, uh, yeah, everyone should but, but it is a public yeah. consultation for the village and anyone has the access to object or support. Sorry, I thought you were saying why did he do it? No, no, we were asking why the other five have not committed so, themselves. Well, 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 Read before Friday, it was the first time I actually went online to read the 178 articles that were there, and I read your five page, which I thought was really impressive. But that's the reason why I haven't registered yet my objections. But I will register my objections by Wednesday because I always intend to talk seriously. I have been very really put, that's the only reason. Why. But uh, the, the trouble is that a lot of people are very unhappy that the parish councillors, as residents, have not committed themselves one way or the other. And it again smacks, and I brought this up at previous meetings. It smacks of a lack of transparency, a lack of communication, yes. yeah. a lack of honesty, yes. and it upsets the residents that you're not willing, as residents, forget your role as parish councillors, to commit yourselves that you're either in support or you're objecting. Yeah. Bernard was the only one. Most of us didn't get I to it through the door, but we have listened to you say that you want us to go onto the document and make a public comment. We will take on that responsibility and ownership, and you haven't. I promise. Well, we've all still got time. Can I just say something? I don't know if it relates to the parish council, I think it does. But as far as um, district or county council goes in my position, if you make a statement before you have met as a council to decide something, if you make a statement for or against, then you're considered to be predetermined and not open-minded to the discussion that's going to happen at the council meeting. That's what happens at our South Norfolk and the county council meetings. So it, it, the, the fact that your um, parish councils haven't made a comment before, if they are also open to that sort of legislation, then they would be they wouldn't be able to enter into the discussion because they would already have predetermined themselves before they got here. So that might be one of the legal I don't know if it's true because I don't know more documents on that.
but it could be one of the reasons. I'm just, just trying to help. No, I didn't, I didn't check that. Because I, did, I did seek advice on that first of all oh, before just I asked the question. I was told that you didn't have any conflict of interest because you are residents. And when you respond as a parish councillor, you're taking our views into account, which is not your own which personal. Which is what we would have done. <coughs> I'm asking you to, to write as residents. Well, we would still put our opinions forward as well as yours, yeah, because we are individuals and we can think for ourselves. <coughs> Yes. But it is disappointing that uh, we've made the effort. Well, we don't wish to, and we, this is a collective thing from, from the residents and from the council themselves. I think generally we can put our own opinions forward in, in the reply that we give. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've passed 20 minutes and about 10 minutes ago we discussed about maybe yes, a meeting true. in the next seven days. Now, okay, I agree tonight you can't check on this availability or what's fair at Eastern College. There's got to be an agreement reached tonight on how you're going to communicate when and where the next meeting is, rather than perhaps go away and we don't know and it's unsure. There's got to be a commitment tonight either to a date and a place or you confirm in writing by email or letter tomorrow. Obviously, we can please. And we can advertise it on the website, yep. is one of the easiest ways. I know yep. everyone ain't got access to the internet. Makes sense yep. to me. But that's what, what the website? obvious way. What website? Yeah. Uh, we will leaflet the village. Yeah. If you give us a date and time, there is a, an action group starting to develop as it is. Eastern yeah. Against Development. It's now got a Facebook page as well. You let us know, we will leaflet the village. I'm saying you, I mean, hypothetically we. But well, if it's an extraordinary issue in the parish, yeah. the rule six is to be us. But it's, we're adopting it as a parish, so it would be a parish responding on our behalf. Okay. But we should be inviting the other interested parties to answer questions at that meeting, such as the consortium, to some of these reports that have been put in. And so that will be your agenda. You would want to be able to table questions um, about issues that you're concerned about. And have you got any... I've put some notes down here. Um, so you've got to think of the chair, who are you going to invite, and what do you want to, to get out of it ultimately at the end? Are you hoping to reduce the number of houses? Are you, are you hoping that in some way you can alter some of the, 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 the projects and the plans? You've, all, you've got to think about that. It's all very well coming to the meeting and all having your questions answered and all having your say. But at the end of the day, they're going to say, oh yes, thank you, and all of this sort of thing. And they go off and totally ignore it. You have to have what is an outcome, what you realistically think you can do. You know? We will have a constructive proposal. Perfect. Okay. I'm all for that then. Right. Um, this has actually got nothing to do with this particular meeting. It was a history thing where I was at Cossey. We lived at Cossey. And the long water development. We went to a meeting very similar to this. Um, one of the councillors stood up to we're not voting for it. They was eight and told we are voting for it. Because if you don't go with it, we won't have chair in any further meetings we will be excluded from. Is that still the case? Maybe Margaret could answer. Um, so I, I didn't quite understand what you're saying. What about not having a chair in the other meeting? If the local council here or representatives don't go with this proposal, 
Mm. When, when you say don't go with it, you mean support it? Support it. Support it. Or the, 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 um, the, the development application, mm -hmm. as, as, as I'll stand up to you uh, the development application has gone into South Norfolk. Mm -hmm. South Norfolk then sends out for local people mm -hmm. and the parish council to um, send their comments. Yeah. And they are then collated by the officer and put forward at the meeting mm -hmm. to the planning committee. Yes. Um, and, and so the comments are there to represent the, the local people. And I can go and speak on your behalf as well. Mm -hmm. But um, the parish council is not committed to doing anything. They, they make their own decision about what they see on the papers and send their own comments. There is no pressure on them to be for or against because they represent the village. And, well, and it was just stated at this particular meeting. I, I, I don't know if you're talking about the um, uh, or, in or, or to uh, East or the East. Very soon, yes. Yeah. And, and the statement was that if we don't go with the proposal, yeah. we will not have a foot in the door for any other comments further down the line. Well, we must I, I go with the proposal even to alter it or change it because it's, it's going to happen. This is going to happen, isn't it? Yeah, but you want to change it. Yes. Um, we can fight against this. Well, you can, but I think it's a more realistic uh, uh, approach would be fight against it by all means, but also have a plan B just in case it, it looks as if it's a fait accompli and you therefore want to get the best that you can out of it. And I'm assuming that would be a reduction in numbers or, or, or any other thing yep. like yep. that. Yeah, completely. Yes. Yep. And there is the structure as well. The second yeah. village hall on the corner up there. Yeah. Surely, this is, if this has already been given over. To actually happening, we need to be shaping how that will look rather than actually trying to defeat ourselves. It's obviously been decided it's going to happen. Uh, reference the areas which are common ground or the village's ground. Surely we can make sure that that stands uh, as, as given uh, for across the hundreds of years that it's been allowed to be public land. So it's really about shaping what's going to happen rather than turn it around because it yep. isn't going to turn yeah. around. Yeah, better yeah. infrastructure yeah. for the road systems yeah. and everything yeah. like that as well. But for you to represent us and let South Norfolk and other people know what we want, you have to listen to us. Oh, we have been listening, Margaret. When? Um, I come to the meetings, but sometimes when you ask a question, you don't always get an answer that's well, I'm not sure. None of well, my questions on Saturday were answered. Not one of them. No, and I know you don't know everything, but then I don't that somebody would go away and Brilliant. find the answer. <laughs> you know, I know. Well, for example, what question? Well, why was it a when they that had. Was, they were never offered. You were in talks really. with them. Yeah, well, because we've been in touch with them ever since this happened, but that's very limited what we do. No, 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 it's what was discussed. Discussed, because there's no coming feedback. Yeah, I've been it? writing about it's it in the minutes, it's always there. In the great volume, it's always so there. Can put can put up, John. I can't go. You, there's two I've got two pages, pages in the grass. Oh, right. That's all I'm going to You have a book. That's your hands. You're limited. We should have had this extraordinary meeting a long time. Yes, you yes. should have done it. No, no, but that's not the issue. It's good to us to know that it's necessary. It's like you have to predict it. Well, Peter, can we go back eight years? We sat here, and the county who was yeah. here from South North. We were discussing things before the plans even got to stage, yep. and certain councillors were offering Jubilee Park as an incentive yes. without consulting us. Yeah, and we were promised promise. that you would come round and yeah. circulate and keep us full. Eight years ago, what's happened? Well, it's been in Chaos the newspapers. Like like no. We've had um, a consortium here. We had Friday and Saturday here. Oh, okay. Was here and I know, not you one word came up. And, but I'm going back eight years ago, we were promised that you would come round and circulate and keep us full. And we've been in the newspapers. We've had a consortium here. We had Friday and Saturday here. Oh, I was here, but not one word came up. And but I'm going back eight years ago when the clerk didn't have the decency to put it in the minutes that there was a large crowd of us here. Over even over Jubilee Park being offered to Eastman College of Park before we even knew what the was going on. Witnesses, witnesses, still there, nodding their heads. Yes. So where's the truth? Staring it up, but that was never offered to them. Never. never. You shouldn't have even spoken to them about it without. Can I ask why so many people hung up about the Jubilee Park? Mm -hmm. 
I'll tell you what, I use it probably more than most people in my children. I've never seen many people here use it. In my house in sentimental, in my house, I mean, it's a pitiful piece of land. It's a pitiful playground. It's a pitiful, pitiful area. There's an opportunity now to get something much better. It's like trading a Fiat for a Ferrari. And to keep hold of a piece of land, or have this conversation which keeps going round and round Can about a piece, piece of land. What's the you point? You say you get a new piece of land. Who well, maybe think, we will. Yeah. Who do you think has got put the apparatus on there for the Where children to come from? They haven't been able to afford it on Mark, the Jubilee. I know you're a parish council. There's a lot of people here being a little bit rude or a little bit condescending towards people who are volunteering on this parish council. <laughs> um, people who don't know the answer straight away to a lot of questions. People who are doing the best for this village. And I think that, you know, once we get all the answers, then we can fathom these answers up for ourselves by this EGM and more information and perhaps question and answers with those people that are making the I just think that you haven't lived in the village very long, do I'm, you, I'm to change your food? I've been years, OK? Yeah, well, we've been here 44 oh, years and that's gone from bad to worse. That does make a lot of difference to be to The land they are offering we for your children to play exactly on, the same. you've got... They put the mouth outbreak underneath it. They won't want to build on it because they know it's so contaminated. But they let your children play on it. We all know. Well, we've got people who were born. And I look forward to seeing you using using that piece of land or not using that piece of land in the same way as you do or don't use the Jubilee Plain. Have you seen the children's summer when they come out for school with their parents? They have picnics, they all sit there. Good point. Is, have they done Yes, I have, because I'm not going to... It's me, who you won't know this and there's no reason why you should, but it's me who maintains the movement quite a lot, taking away the moss and things like that. It's my children who use it probably more than anybody else's children. So, you know, I've got more to lose from any, most of you from the Jubilee playing field. So, you know, I'm, I'm just being realistic about it. And we all need to be realistic about it. It's a, it's a you know, the, we should not be talking about the Jubilee playing field. Well, I'm sorry, we should. That was I don't know why it's so important to you, Mark. Because that's part of our heritage, aren't If we can keep that as well, then fantastic. But this is not a common start of what's being said here. It's, there's, a, there's 600 or 900 houses potentially being done. We're talking about a little scrap of land. Not it's just, not, it's, it's not that. It's the iceberg. Everything, everything it's else will come down. We want the truth and we want the consortium to listen to what we want as a thing. You are very right. We, no one wants to get rid of the truth. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just not saying it's uh, such a cornerstone as it's trying to be made out to be. No one would. Can we sort of summarise then, because this, heart, this 20 minutes is going on and going on. Back to your meeting hour. date, yeah? Um, basically, then, <laughs> we need to know what you expect us to do, who is going to do what, who is going to get in touch with whom, because I know what will happen, we'll all go, yes, we'll do that, and then suddenly everybody will be thinking everybody else is going to be doing it, and nothing will get done. So, first of all, we have to find out um, who is going to be responsible for... Um, getting in touch with the people that you would like to um, invite, you would like us to invite to this meeting. Are we the instigator of the meeting for a start, or well, exactly that? And, and do you expect us to sort of get the meeting sorted? Are you going to produce the agenda and the questions, um, or is somebody? Are we